What did I just tell you? I don't like you digging around in your car. Stand right here. That don't make sense for me. New Year's Day 2023 in Wheaton, Illinois, a small suburb of Chicago. A Wheaton police officer observed a passing vehicle with a torn license plate sticker and proceeded to follow the vehicle with his police vehicle's emergency lights activated. The officer witnessed the driver make several traffic infractions before finally coming to a stop. What's going on? Your sticker's torn. I know. It's, it's expired. Okay. It's expired. It's just. Uh, I've had the car at a, 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 a buddy's house trying to get it worked on, and my service light just came on. I was trying to go through the cycle now, but I can't get it off. I have something wrong with like the EGR valve or something. The what? EGR valve. Do you have your driver's license and insurance? Uh, I don't have uh, a proof of insurance, but I have a picture. I just, work. I just got pulled over the other day. Actually, what for? Same thing. It's actually my birthday today, so I was just trying to get the car closer to home. Where's home? Batavia. Where are you trying to go now? I'm going home. Is you going home? Yeah. And home is Batavia? Yeah. So, like, how are you getting home? What do you mean? Well, how come you keep making all these turns? What do you mean? Oh, I was... Oh. I was just gonna stop and get gas. Or... You were gonna stop and get gas where? As the driver reaches for his phone, a small baggie with a white residue slips out of his jacket pocket, in full view of the officer. What's right there? What's that bag right there? In your pocket. That? Yeah, what's that? I have no idea. What's that? All right. I couldn't tell you. Probably. Probably. Alright. Right. Oh. Oh. Can't afford to get a second car. Not an emergency. Hey, can I bring my wallet with me? Alright. You know Why don't you just come out here? Okay. Stop digging. Stop digging. Just step out here. You're not listening to me. Just step out of the car. I don't want you digging around. Digging you around know? for what? I asked you to stop looking for it and just step outside. Well, You're digging you around your car. I don't like that. Just yeah, step out here, okay. right here, and talk to me. I don't like you digging around in your car. Just because my plates are expired? What did I just tell you? I don't like you digging around in your car. Stand right here. That don't make sense for me. You're, you're not going to pull me out of The officer later wrote in his report that as his right arm hyperextended as the driver sped off, his elbow made contact with the B pillar of the vehicle's frame, causing an injury. When the police crime lab tested the residue in the baggie, it was determined to be cocaine. An officer transports Santino back to Wheaton PD for processing after he was arrested by another police force on open warrants as a result of the New Year's Day incident. Are y'all going to beat me up in the police station? Nope. All right, have a seat. You got a whole like, half cage, huh? Yeah. Put some hospital? Yeah, the half is way better. Do you guys do you, do you guys try and interview him at all? Greet him Miranda or anything like that? No, I didn't read Miranda. So enough. did he ever like invoke or anything like that? Because we're probably gonna try and interview him. No. no. Okay, cool. I mean, obviously he's higher than a kite. He's on the Ativan and the painkillers. Okay. What did you, what was the circumstance for you guys taking him? Uh, so he was a call out for a drunk driver. He was driving maybe 30 miles an hour down the interstate, going in and out of lanes. Pull him over, he says his car's all jacked up, but we threw him through fields. Uh, he didn't pass, but he blew all zeros. But I was like, yeah, I'm not going to do the DUI because I know you guys wanted them anyways. All right. So I just hit him. He told me his name was Timmy Lopez. Uh, uh, so I hit him with obstructing identification cool. and uh, gave him a few traffic tickets. And all right. For you guys. Cool. I hate Get over it. here. Stand on this mat and face that door. I'm telling you right now, it wasn't. Face the storm? Put the hand up on the door. Hey, dude, you don't have to be so aggressive. Bro. I'm not. I'm trying to tell you it wasn't even me. Okay. Don't just throw my on the floor. 
Hold on, bro. So we took off with my car on the New Year's party, and I don't know what the... I was drunk home, or you know, kind of treat me like So am I going to the county? Yep. You got $20,000? 2000 20000 you need twenty thousand. It's not two thousand. No, twenty. It's two hundred thousand, ten percent. Here, put them in this bag. Shit, bro. That's a real life. Right there. How am I supposed to come up with that? I was gone for a while. No idea. Like I said, that's all up to a judge. Shortly after being put into a holding cell, Santino is heard making several snorting sounds before he slowly starts to fall asleep while standing up. Santino is taken into an interrogation room for questioning. However, the officers can't get Santino to stay awake long enough to answer a question. Come here. Come on. You're my voice. Oh, this way. This way. This way. We've got, we got a place where you can sit. Why are you so sleepy? Go right here. Nice place to sit. Okay? Santino. Have a seat, man. On the bench. Have a seat right there on the stool, at eight feet. Alright, dude. Don't sit down. Off, well, you're standing up and falling asleep. Yeah, well, I'm tired. Why are you so tired? So, Santino, sounds like you want to know about your car. Is that correct? So, <clears throat> Santino? Okay. Can you spell your name for me? And then I'm going to, I want to talk to you about a few things. Do you understand your rights? That's a slight nod, yes, but I need to hear it from you. Do you understand your rights? No, I still can't hear you. Yes. Yes. So, <clears throat> understanding your rights, do you want to speak with us? Santino? What's going on? Why are you so tired? Yeah, I see the shoulder shrug and all that kind of stuff. What's going on? Why are you so tired and do you want to speak with us? What, what is it? You want to talk to us? Yes? Okay, I'm having a hard time hearing you. Can you tell me one more time what's going on? I said yeah, goddammit. Okay, I Hey, I'm not here to irritate you, okay? Santino, when was the last time you drove that car? Mm -hmm. Santino, I do not understand why you're so tired. What's going on? 
When's the last time you drove your car? Okay, so that's the last time you saw your car and the last time you drove it? Hey, if you can't stay awake, we're going to have to knock on you. You're falling asleep sitting up, so we're going to have to knock on you if you can't stay awake. You got your phone? Yeah. Uh, how would you know? Because we, I believe you're under the influence of a of some form, and you already told me that you take street drugs all the time, and you've regressed significantly since you've been in our custody. I just fell asleep for and then now you stop I talking. Just, I don't, I don't know. Okay, the narcotics is going to help you because I'm concerned. Know. You're on the slope. You're you're down. Know. You're going to get narcotics. All right. Okay, it'll help you. You feel better? What? It's not. You'll fuck? bounce back in a minute or two. Yeah, you got something going on. There's something Dude, going on. I just start talking. I just start taking both. When did you start taking those? Yesterday in the hospital. Okay. Okay. This is the longest you've kept your eyes open, the longest you started talking to us. And your eyes are closed. And they're closed. When I brought you in here, you said you take fentanyl. You use all the Okay. Yeah. And your behavior shows that you're under the influence of or fentanyl. Frankly, we can't talk to you when you're like this. All right, come on, Santino. Let's go this way. We're going back to your cell. I'm just kind of nervous about going to jail. Go to the right. Why don't you lay on the pad? Paramedics are going to talk to you now. Santino was taken to the hospital by EMS. Can you just follow me? No. No, the officers have to close. Do they need to get out the door? Do you? Or is it unlocked? You okay with them leaving us, that's right? Yeah, we're going with. We're going with. I know you're going with. Yeah. Yeah. No, he's going to remain in our custody. Yeah. Right. We're just going to cuff him first. Yeah. Thank you. Santino, put your hands behind your back. Santino, put your hands behind your back. Behind your back. Can you cuff him to the cat? All right. Yeah. Here. Grab your, yeah, grab your transport belt. Belt on them, guys. Uh, you guys. He can stand up real fast. Or just lean up. He should be able to get around his, uh, his waist. Lift up your hands. Hang on. Stop turning. Sit still. Hey, dude. Chill the f*** out, bro. No, follow instructions. You been being a f since you've been dealing with me. Get some beer or something, bro. Man, leave the blanket. I already told you. I'm fucking cold. Okay, well, you can wait a minute. Put this arm up for me. While en route, EMS personnel noticed a small baggie fall from Santino's hair. Where at? Just failed. Man. There. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> um, this just fell out of his hair, so we gotta get in a good search on his yep. hair. Or that's what he's claiming, at least. Like I said, like I said, I don't have drugs for weeks. Whoever ran from your punk ass cop that could have fucking. Whoever ran from your punk ass cop that could have cut up tools, hey, maybe you guys just have more driving lessons. You said that was in his hair, correct? No, so the medic said that he had it in his hand and he threw it onto the, the ambulance floor gotcha. upon pulling him out. Bro, oh, what's in my head? Oh, you got the same flashlight as me. Yep. But he's got a real gun. <laughs> <laughs> Where at? Santino was charged with aggravated assault peace officer causing great bodily harm. Aggravated fleeing, attempting to elude a peace officer. Possession of a controlled substance. Operating a vehicle without registration. Operating an uninsured vehicle. Do you enjoy our videos? 
Consider joining our fan club, where we post the uncensored versions of our videos days before we release the censored version on our channel. Thanks for watching, and be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching Resisting Arrest TV.